Dear students, now we are going to discuss comparison of narrow band FM and wide band FM. Depending on the bandwidth of the frequency modulation, it can be classified into narrow band FM and wide band FM. As the name suggests, it has a small bandwidth. In wide band FM, it has an infinite bandwidth range. The bandwidth of narrow band FM is two times the modulating frequency. It is same as that of the amplitude modulation. In wide band FM, the bandwidth is equal to 2 into del F plus FM, where this del F is nothing but the maximum frequency deviation. Here, the bandwidth is approximately 15 times higher than the narrow bandwidth. The modulation index is very small in case of narrow band FM. Hence, it is called as low index FM. Here, the modulation index is less than 1. In wide band FM, the modulation index is very large. Hence, it is called as high index FM. Here, the modulation index is far greater than 1. In narrow band FM, the range of modulating frequency is approximately 30 Hz to 3 kHz. In wide band FM, the range of modulating frequency is approximately 30 Hz to 15 kHz. Here, the maximum frequency deviation is about 5 kHz. In wideband FM, the maximum frequency deviation is about 75 kilohertz. Narrowband FM has very high noise interference. Wideband FM has low noise interference. Narrowband FM is widely used in mobile communication and point-to-point -point communication. Example here, police, wireless, etc. Wideband FM is widely used in broadcasting and entertainment applications like FM radio, TV sound reception, etc. Spectrum of narrowband FM contains carrier signal and two sidebands simply like a amplitude modulation. But in wideband, the spectrum consists of the carrier signal and infinite number of sidebands. This is the wave equation of the narrowband FM. So here the narrowband signal can be represented as AC cos omega ct minus mf ac sin omega ct into sin omega mt. The wideband signal can be represented like this. AC summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity j n of m cos of 2 pi fc plus n f m t. Here this j n is nothing but Bessel's function. So here due to this Bessel function we are having an infinite number of sidebands. So this all are the signal representation.